Welcome. Welcome to day 29 of the Agronomy Challenge. It's now 29 days since we transplanted. We're here on January the 18th. And the main task today is top dressing. We're going to be applying urea fertiliser at a rate of uh, 45, 180 kilograms to the hectare. No, 100 kilograms to the hectare. So at 29 days after, after transplanting, it's on the, the early side of, of uh, the typical window for top dressing, but it's what the Nutrient Manager program is suggesting we do, particularly with a hybrid. Now let's go and look at the, the crop as it stands after 29 days. Now what we see here is the crop is fairly well established. There's the odd odd uh, section of the field that doesn't look so good but mostly it's quite uniform. In fact if we if we hark back to 12 months ago it's a lot more uniform than 12 months ago. We, we don't really have any problems. There are very few weeds to be had. The pre-emergent herbicide is still functioning quite well. There's the odd small weed coming up so I suspect we'll have uh, one more herbicide application in a few weeks. What worries me most is the prevailing conditions. It's quite cool. It's been uh, cool and wet for a good 10 days now. Somewhat typical of last season. It's uh, the solar radiation is quite limited. I almost need a jumper today, which is quite unusual for the Philippines. And what, what worries me most is with the cool conditions, and we already have quite a wide row spacing with, with the rice. It's, it's generally accepted here in the tropics that you should be have a row spacing of 20 or at most 25 centimetres and here we are out at 30 centimetre row spacing which is wider than what we want but with a mechanical transplanter we had no choice. But now we have a wide row spacing, the plants are spaced fairly wide apart. They want solar radiation to grow, for the canopy, canopy to spread and to, to get their photosynthetic process going and we're not really getting it at the moment and that has me worried to a degree. Then again worrying won't change the weather. So the one thing we can do is apply nitrogen fertiliser a little bit sooner rather than later so that when we do get some solar radiation it's got uh, thorough nutrition in which to take advantage of that solar radiation. So we'll be top dressing our 100 kilograms to the hectare of urea this morning and applying water straight thereafter. The field is mud it's been mud for the last two days so it's starting to dry and crack a little so it's ideal for a fertiliser application. <laughs> 